from A to Z, we were 100% committed to bringing justice for Quentin. A big question in the case is how did Quentin die? And do police believe the toddler was dead before his body was put into that dumpster? That will remain a question for now. Chatham County's police chief said that was something he wasn't ready to talk about. Understandable. And joining me live, Brett Buffington, now lead investigative reporter at WSAV. He's been covering Quentin's disappearance uh, since the very beginning. Uh, Brett, thank you. I wish it were under different circumstances. Uh, as I said a moment ago, this is what we had feared. Uh, but the relentless effort in that landfill to find this little boy, it was evident in the emotion that was expressed by the police chief as he relayed that news. Oh, absolutely, Marty. In fact, police, when they announced this landfill search, Back October 18th, I believe it was, they were emotional that day. They put up a giant picture of Quentin Simon in that command center that day, a picture that eventually moved to the landfill itself and was taped to the back of a trailer. There were some hundred people working this case, including FBI agents from across the country. It had to be some kind of relief for them on Friday when they made this discovery. Of course, those remains quickly taken to the FBI's crime lab in Quantico, Virginia. They do believe that they are human. There will be additional testing. Those results could be back as early as this Friday. But the police chief obviously has something very certain in his case here, and he's holding this case very close to his vest that has him to believe that they are likely Quentin Simons. Yeah, the police chief, Brett, saying that um, he doesn't believe that Leilani, the mother, should deserve a Thanksgiving that Quentin does. Um, it is just heartbreaking. What else did he share about the circumstances of her arrest, where and when it happened? We know she was picked up from her home and taken to the Chatham County Detention Center. That happened just as they were making that arrest or making that announcement on yesterday. They told us that they didn't want anyone to have any exclusives in this case. They would release this to every affiliate here in Savannah at the same time. And they kept their word to that. I can tell you that they called the news directors and they gave us a heads up that there was an announcement coming. They made that announcement. And we know that she was quickly booked into the Chatham County Jail. She was supposed to have a bond hearing this afternoon. She's being held right now on charges that include murder, lying to police, filing a false police report, and one more. Uh, but she won't be having that bond hearing this afternoon. We understand that that has been moved to sometime tomorrow morning. Brett, did they indicate that there could be more arrests in this case? Any others who had possible involvement in the cover-up of this heinous and horrific crime? So, Martin, we're talking about 50 days since, oh, most 50 days since October 5th when Quentin was last seen and yesterday's arrest. There has been so much speculation about who could be involved of course, Lelaney Simon's boyfriend, according to the story that Lelaney told police, he was the last person to see Quentin in that packing play on October 5th. Police yesterday told us that Lelaney Simon, as they had previously announced, remains their one and only suspect. And at this point, they aren't looking into anyone else. Police did say that they aren't going to release, at least at this point, how Quentin died. But did they give any indication as to a possible motive, as to a why uh, this would have happened? So obviously that's the biggest question that remains in this case. Of course, the biggest one was where is Quentin? We now believe we know that answer. The toddler's body believed to have been found in that landfill. The second biggest question is how did Quentin die? I asked the police chief that question yesterday during his media briefing, and he told me that's just something that he can't talk about right now. And then I followed up with, is there anything to make you believe that this was an accident? And then there was just the act of it being covered up. The police chief also told me that right now he won't be able to talk about that. It's evidence in this case, uh, including like where the dumpster was that they believe Quentin's body was in. They wouldn't tell us where that is. There's so much. They won't even tell us exactly how much trash they had to go through or an estimate of it. There's so much in this case that we don't have the answers to. And that's likely just because the investigators here are trying to make sure that there are so many important details that are saved for the day that obviously now we know Lelaney Simon will face a judge. And Quentin was not an only child. Leilani has other kids. Where are they right now? Who's caring for them? We understand that they are in the custody of the state. Of course, just after uh, the, the search for Quentin began, we know that there was a family court hearing here in Georgia. Those records are sealed. We've asked for them. We've asked what happened uh, with the other children. We do know that we haven't seen them as we've seen this family out in front of their home. Those other children haven't been there for some time. We understand 
that they are in the care of the Department of Family and Children's Services. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.